Hello everyone, this is Animation 4, and welcome back to more Pathfinder. Um, so I've been doing a bit of farming here, and if you can't see by the little bar, I got uh, perfect wheat. So it's 10, 10, 10. I also got perfect carrots, even though you can't really see that. Oh, you see it right here. Um, uh, my sugar cane is not the best, but I don't really need much. I also found you can um, harvest the things by right-clicking them. So... That's pretty handy. Gotten a bunch of food stuff from that. There's uh, a few quick things I want to do to start the episode. Uh, I looked at the map, and there are chickens right here. I would like those chickens. But I could use a torch. Uh, yes, the darkness always ever-consuming. Just get two quick torches. Yes, only two torches. find them chickens. Okay. Eh, go. Why can't I go? Oh, there's leaves. I have torches up here, apparently. Okay, we're approaching the chickens. I think. Approaching very slowly. Being cautious. Oh, hi. There you are. Give me feather. Yay! But I'll also take that meat. Thank you. Come again. Oh, it's getting day. <laughs> I could have just waited like two minutes. Okay, just enough enough to sprint back. Um, so the main thing I needed is obviously the feather. Uh, last episode, I'm pretty sure I looked at this quest. It's the current one we're focusing on. And it's the um, Agriculture Journal uh, quest. So I have everything I need, just four seeds. Stop putting one there. And four crops. And that should do it. Agriculture journal. And that should complete this quest right here. I get a reward bag from that, which is gonna fall on the ground behind us. That was very loud. <laughs> okay, what do we got in here? Liquid nun dimlet. We got dimlet. And it looks like we already completed this one. We got a barley seed and we got a seed analyzer. Well, I'm ahead of the game apparently. And we got a wooden pickaxe head. Yay! A plank. A refined plank. Okay, with barley available, we can now breed many more seeds. That would be the next step along with rice. So we gotta get rye and rice. Rye seeds. Seeds and barley seeds. Okay. Barley. I did not throw out the barley ones. <laughs> okay, let's get rid of this. Where did I get ten wood? Hmm. Um, crops, sticks. Let's do. Oops. Let's do this. We're gonna let that grow. And the potatoes are not quite done. I want the potatoes to be done uh, because I'm getting a little hungry. I say I have this lunch bag, but it's it's, it's empty. Uh, so I'd like to put some stuff in it. And I found something pretty easy I could make. I made this pot out of the four iron we had left. I wasted the iron, but I think it'll be worth it. And as you can see, I made some stock, as I obviously ate it on the way back. Uh, so with this stock, with these carrots, with some beef, with these this potato, because I kind of used all the potatoes we could stock, we can get pot roast, which is pretty darn good. It's uh, three hunger and two and a half saturation, which is far better than anything else we've been eating recently, I'll say that. Uh, we've mostly been surviving on a bit of melon juice, some carrot juice, maybe some bread. So yeah, it's, it's a good thing to have. Uh, let's actually just fill our lunch box real quick, just so we have some stuff. A lunch bag. Obviously, it's just a bag, so you can't really fit much in it. But, you know, some is better than none. So with this bag, whenever I... Um, see, I have all this stuff in here. Everything is pretty good. If I shift-right-click, it'll open it. And I can just eat from it. And it'll basically select the best thing according to the best nutritional value. So you can see this one is 
So it chose that one. It's going to choose that one again, though. So that one's all gone. You can put in some carrots. So the potatoes done. Potatoes are done. Cool. We get two potatoes from that. You can make two whole more pot roasts. And you can throw those in instead of the carrots. Whoa. Eaten once, it's already at 50%? Jeez. This food thing is not very kind. So the barley here is just about done. Uh, there's nothing I can really do to speed it up. Uh, but one thing I wanted to do while it was still sunny is go get some clay. Because even though uh, farming is fun and relaxing, we do need to get somewhere in this pack. And that's going to involve building a smeltery, because it's actually one of the next steps. Uh, I mean, the Voyager. Maybe the Voyager? Which which step was it? Somewhere. Here it is. Yeah. Uh, so we got to get a bunch of clay for the smeltery. Here's some right here. I just happened to see it on the map. Let's not be in the water while I dig it. And also horses here, which is pretty neat. I don't think there's any way to get a saddle, because um, you can't craft it, and I'm not sure if there are any dungeons or not. Because the cave scenario is, like, non-existent. <clears throat> so I'm not sure if that's the world or if that's, like, pre-gen. But yeah, there are, like, no caves. So I'm just going to get up this clay. Um, what don't I need? Hmm, big questions. I should really do something with this journal. Oh yeah, weird glitch. Um, see, I have 31 clay, but it stacks 32. If I drop an item, I could then max the stack. I don't know why, it makes no sense. But, it works. Check it out, it's an eclipse. Whoa. Check it out. We got a little bit of grout. Uh, we also need an alloy furnace. What is that going to take? Uh, this one. Lots of bricks. Okay, so 8 times 4 is 32. Hmm. Whenever I'm going to get 32 bricks. So these will each make f 8. So 4 coal, 32 clay. And that should be done in no time. We got the rye, so yay. Got a rye seed. See what it's gonna ask for next. Probably, oh no. Ah, uh, right. The next step. It says it said along with rice, so I assumed we'd be doing rice next, but I guess not. Uh, I'm gonna take another furnace. Drop it right there. I'm gonna take. Might as well do eight with a piece of coal. Should probably go get more coal at some point. But the mortar and pestle. I know this recipe crafted it a few times in various packs. Uh, it's uh, three stone, so I need three stone. Uh, yeah, so this is going to be my food chest, so i going to remove some of these blocks. This is going to be my um, techie chest, I guess. This is my siege chest, so your dimlet does not go in there. That's where the dimlets go. Yeah, so trying to stay organized, because can't really move stuff around very much. And yeah, is that it? Is that food? Is that all food stuff? That looks like all food stuff. Crops, go, crop sticks. I keep just wanting to call them crops, but they're crop sticks. Okay, so oops, pickaxe. I can't open this chest anymore because I blocked it. Okay, uh, give me some of this. It doesn't match with the rest of it, so might as well get out the stack. And we got the mortar and pestle. Is that it? We got reward. We got nine cobblestone. Yay. Next, Lexington. We get rice. So rice was after that. Uh, what does it take to get rice seeds? Uh, seeds and barley seeds. This is barley. So I just try again. Seeds and barley, seeds and barley. Yeah, same thing. And what's underneath it doesn't matter. That's what this slot is. We're going to come into cases where it's going to actually... Hey, look, we got rice. That was easy. 
We're gonna come into case, so it's gonna actually it might actually matter what's underneath it. Um, but I don't know. Flour and dough. Okay. So to make flour, we should be able to just do this. Yes. To make dough. Dough, dough, dough. Takes water. Uh, you can use water clay bucket. Can I? Does that take a metal bucket, or can I use a clay bucket to make uh, the individual waters? Let's, let's find out. You cannot. Uh, what else does it take? It also takes salt, which is a pot and some water. So pot and a water. We get a salt. We get another water. I'm really going to want an iron bucket just for this. I believe it takes a pot. No, mixing bowl. With salt and the flour gets us some dough. Bring it in the dough. Yes, please. Oh, what? That's, that's like what I asked for. There we go. We got the iron bucket. I don't really need you anymore, but I'll keep you there just in case. Thank you very much, quest book. And I think that's it in terms of seeds. Uh, doesn't look like anyone unlocked here. Uh, so what we have next is just to go down this route. And that involves these bricks finishing. But yeah, I actually want to kind of look at uh, what I can do with some of these seeds. If I can like crossbreed any more and get anything else pretty interesting. So I'm just going to uh, look around through the recipes a bit. See what I can use some of this stuff for. I can't use that for anything. And wait for this to finish, I guess. And see when that's done. It's that simple. We got another liquid nun dimlet. Cool. So what's next on our list of stuff? Leads. After lumen and zinc are obtained, copper is needed next to start making any alloys of any sort. Yeah, we got copper. We gotta make a smeltery. Okay, so I actually have to smelt down all this grout. Kind of figured that, but I'm gonna need coal for that, so I have to go mining to get some coal. So I'm going to... Well, go mining. <laughs> yeah. Okay, I was just doing some casual caving. Please totally ignore the fact that I forgot torches. I'll just carry around this one. And I saw a thing. It's right there on the mini-map. It looks like something that could be interesting. What is dense aluminum? I'll take this aluminum. Aluminium. I'm going to get rid of this cobble, don't worry. Oh, there we go. More haste. Fastest miner in the world. Okay, let's throw this down into the pit of despair. Let's grab our torch. Let's not fall into the pit of despair. Let's keep going. Okay, we're either right under it or right over it. I'm going to zoom over. I hear bat. Hopefully wherever it is we're going, there's light. So it's starting to get dark again. I hear lava. Lava's, lava has light, right? Okay, back to the pit of despair with this gravel. Let's grab this torch again. I'm getting close. I feel like we're getting very close. Oh, oh. Things. That's a spawner. Maybe this wasn't meant to be peaceful mode. Just maybe this was meant to be a bit harder with spawners and stuff. Yeah, that would have made things very hard. I know that now. When I get back to the surface, I will change. I will prepare, and I will come back and probably die. Let's get out of here.
Oh, uh, night, night is going to be awful. It's so dark at night. And look at the cave. It's dark in this cave right now. Imagine how horrible that's going to be when mobs are coming. Oh boy, I'm scared. But oh well. I know now. And now there will be pain and death. It should be interesting. At least it's day. So I can start making some preparations. And thus, as the rain falls, make the daring switch into normal mode. Let's see what happens. We also create a hidey hole in case of emergency. I do have this place fenced off. I spend it with fences. Uh, but torches are really, really nerfed. The light spread is so small. And even just outside, still is undoable. See, this guy's having trouble getting in. Yeah. It's because of that slab right there, which I should really put a torch on top of if I could reach, but I can't. Uh, you see this is a two block gap uh, but this is a bottom this is a bottom slab and that's a top slab so there's technically two blocks of space in between but uh, they don't see it as a valid place to walk through even though it clearly is they are just that dumb so yeah now it's raining too so not only we have to deal with mobs, but we have to deal with the fact that they're not going to burn when the day comes. Come on, give me good seeds. Here, have a carrot. Ow. Well, now you're in trouble, because you hurt me. Uh, plus four, plus two, plus two. Yeah, this plus four works the best. I don't know why I didn't make a stone matic. That's kind of silly of me. I also noticed, it took me this long to realize... There are no levels. You'd, there's no experience. I I was mining some lapis, and it didn't drop any experience. I was a little confused. Then I looked down and saw there were no levels. Monster Hunter! Woohoo! They did a thing. Did that get us anything in the quest book? Probably not. But I'll check anyway. Two quests available for completion. You can be working on the dimlets. Whoa. That's the long one. This one. You can craft some dimlets. Or we can uh, make the smeltery. That's alright. Those are our two paths right now. Those are the paths I've found. Haha. <laughs> yeah, so we're pretty safe inside our little fence area. And yeah, just... Trying to get, I want to get back to the mine so I can go in there, but I'd like to equip myself first. Uh, it's obviously not that. Um, whoa. Oh, spiders. Spiders have a little bit easier of a time getting in here, obviously. Knock down my crops, but that does give me string. Lots of barley. Uh, but anything else should... Um, be a little bit more stuck by the fence. Well, I don't know who you're waiting for, because clearly I am I'm a tree. Why why are you talking to a tree? <laughs> yeah, I'm I made some some wood armor. Got three whole armor points. It's crazy. Just, just eat your stew. Uh, I also made a stone broadsword. Uh, it's got 41 experience already. I've, I've seen some zombies with it. You can block and we can attack. Nice and simple. Um, so yeah. Let's drop this in here. Let's see if I can grab a few torches for the way. So, you know, I can light things up and not die too incredibly easily. Uh, there should be some... Let's not lose this stuff. There should be... Uh, some wood along the way, so let's just get going. 
I need a better way out of here. This is a parkour challenge to get out. Meh. Meh. There we go. So yeah, came over here and made a sword. The rain finally stopped, which is good. And yeah, we got some wood. So let's just make some sticks out of this. Ah, make them all into torches. I need lots. I need lots of torches. So now we can head back down to that place we were before. I'm pretty sure those were cave spiders. So we're going to be dealing with a bit of a battle. My lunch is probably empty. Yeah, it's, I'm almost out of food. So this is a torch it up mission. Here you go. Fin finish your lunch. Uh, but while I was caving, I did find some iron. So we may be looking at making a actual lunch box that can hold more than six things. Hi, you're bats. Yeah, this isn't a very good sword. Yeah, there's, there's some things in there now. I really should get some blocks so I can like block stuff off. Okay, so... Sword, pick, blocker. Yeah, those are cave spiders. There's a creeper coming. There was a creeper coming. There's another one. We good to go, we good to go. Oh, we got note in a bottle. Interesting. Just block this off for right now. I'd like to see what's in this note in a bottle. Spawner. Hmm, do I want to break this or I want to do something with it? I'll do something with the skeleton, because you can do a lot of stuff with bones, especially since we're in like a farming world. Can I open this? Use recipe. I don't know what to do with this note in a bottle. Okay. Size. Oh! Hello. Okay, that didn't free them. That's good. You're dumb. Got another zombie head. Okay, this place is empty. What's down here then? There's a path. Do we have to go deeper? We might have to go deeper. And deep, the only way to go deeper may be through the spiders. Bit, bit worried. Now, there are a lot of spiders. Ah, too many spiders. Come on, don't come through. Don't come through anymore. Oh, you're coming through. You're coming through. You're coming through. You're coming through. Come, 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 come. Almost dead. Almost dead. Almost dead. You can die from poison. You can die from poison. Okay, so I've progressed back here. Supplies are dwindling. Morale is low. Should have bought a crafting table so I could make some slabs. I don't know why I have all these. I think I dropped them by the spawn point. Because I accidentally made a bunch. So that was interesting. You can die from poison. We know that now. I ran out of food. So that's something we have to try to avoid. Make sure we have plenty of food so we can keep regenning. Um, but we did die. So that means all this stuff is now reset. And anything um, that would not have healed us before as much heals us now. So that's good news. Yeah. But I gotta say, that's gonna be the end of today's episode. 
Uh, next episode, we will try to get back down there. Uh, maybe I'll try to get skin milk. I think you can drink this to... Oh, you, you don't you don't use a milk to make almonds, you use almonds to make milk. Okay, but I think we can use that milk because it's stackable to get rid of the poison so, you know, we, we don't die from it. But yeah, things are definitely heating up. And I would like to figure out what's down there because it may be good things. Good things are good. But that's going to be it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.